Thermocouple is a temperature sensing device and its use in process industry is widespread. In this video, I will show you how to configure a thermocouple and how to make PLC program for the thermocouple so that its value can be used on HMI and can be processed or can be used in various interlocks if necessary. So let's create a new project in the Semantic Manager. I'll be using an S7300 PLC or thermocouple program insert new object and a 7300 station in this case go to the hardware configuration first I will add a rake for a 7300 PLC As an example, I will add 31502 dp CPU into the rake. No need of networking so far. And I'll be using an analog input card. Analog input card. AI8. 12 bit. We have specialized cards for thermocouples and RTD as well. But in this video, I am using a generalized analog input card because all other sensors like pressure sensors or vibration sensors can be programmed in the similar fashion, in the similar way. So, this is why I am using a generalized input card. Maybe in the next video, we will configure an analog input card that is specialized for thermocouple or RTDs, right? Normally it happens that in field, the thermocouple wires are wired into a temperature controller, right? So what happens, the voltage value, the millivolts that are being produced in thermocouple due to temperature change are being fed to a temperature controller and that temperature controller in turn gives the 4 to 20 milliampere to the PLC analog input card. I'm not interfacing the thermocouple directly to the specialized analog input card that is the thermocouple specialized card but in this case I'm using a generalized analog input card. If you go to the properties of this analog input card you will find that the measuring type has to be two wire, right? Four to 20 milliampere. In this case, I will change the setting to two wire. Simple enough. Save the settings, save the hardware configuration. If you look at the address, addresses of the channels in this analog input card, you will find that PIW256, it starts from 256, you can change it. Anyways, I will not change the default settings. Now I will go to the OB1 to make the PLC program. I'm creating in the language ladder. So the OB1 has been created. Now I will be using scale function, the FC105 scale function for the scaling of thermocouple value. I will go to the library and in the standard library, I have to go to T1 to 7 S7 converting section and over here I will find FC105 scale convert. I will import it. Okay. The analog input channel address that is PIW 
256 in this case. Suppose I have interfaced the two wires of thermocouple that are coming from the controller, the temperature controller. I have interfaced it with the first channel of pin the log input card, for example. temperature underscore oil oil temperature this is the comment but here I will give the address IW256 now remember whenever you be interface any sensor be it temperature sensor or any other analog sensor the scaling of the sensor must be accomplished right the minimum measuring value of the sensor and the maximum measuring value of the sensor every sensor the nameplate or the data sheet or the manual has information about in which range this sensor is going to make measurements so for example this is the 0 to 250 degree centigrade thermocouple or uh, for example 50 to 300 degree centigrade thermocouple so the higher value in this case is 300 degree centigrade let me and 50.0 in this case 50 is the minimum measuring value of this uh, thermocouple and 300 is the maximum measuring value this is the high and low limit they are the low scale and high scale the measurement scale of the temperature sensor so uh, i'm not using the bipolar in this case and by default this is zero for example the return value has to be stored somewhere in this case I will create a DB to store the temperature value create data block DB1 this is the shared DB that is that means it can be used anywhere in the program oil temperature zero point zero I will save it and I will try to access db1.dbd2 in the ob1 Okay, the out value is the real value. So I have interfaced db1 and db2 with this out. Suppose I save my program. Okay, the return value. For example, I store it into mw0. Well, I have randomly selected this one is by default is the system default or uh, system built in memory word so i have stored the return value in mw0 so the logic is complete now i will download the logic to the plc first i will open the simulator because i don't have any hardware plc the process is same for both simulator and hardware 
PLC simulator for MPI since the MPI interface has been used. Sorry, this PLC only has M MPI interface and not the Profinet or TCP IP interface. PLC download. All the settings would be downloaded, including hardware and PLC program. Now go switch to the run mode and I will switch after switching to run mode now I will open the OB1 and will try to monitor the PLC program now the 50 value has been shown it is because the minimum wearing value is 50 and the field value now is 0 uh, sorry 4 milliampere in this case because the range of the analog input card is 4 to 20 milliampere and 4 to 20 milliampere are being out by the temperature controller as well if I monitor the analog input card well over here it's zero now I will try to give it a dummy value from the simulator go to the simulator and over here IW256 is the address and I will try to give it 4A09 4A09 is the hex value coming from the field that is the hex representation of 4 to 20 milliampere the actual 4 to 20 milliampere coming from the field and if I go to the OB1 over here you will find that 18953 the decimal representation of the hex value if I switch it to, to decimal 18953 18953 and that has been scaled to 221 degrees centigrade so this is the temperature value of the thermocouple ready to be displayed on HMI through db1 dbd2 or it can be further used in the logic for interlocking if we compare it to any threshold value so on and so forth so that's the process of how to interface a thermocouple or any analog sensor to the analog input channel of the PLC card and uh, in the OB1 we use the FC105 and through this FC105 block we are gonna scale the hex value of the thermocouple or any other analog sensor to in between the measuring scale of the sensor in this case is 50 to 300 degrees centigrade so this is how i have made the logic for a thermocouple and this is the same process for any analog sensor if you are making the program in the later logic see you in the next video if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section bye for now